Welcome back to Midday Live, everyone. The time is now 1114. I am now joined by Gerilyn Bristow with Glean Kentucky to tell us a little bit about the organization and their upcoming Glean Fest. Gerilyn, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. We were talking before the before we came back on air, uh, kind of what Glean was all about. Can you kind of tell our viewers uh, who may not know about Glean what the organization is all about? Sure. So what we do is we are a nonprofit mm -hmm. and we go around and pick up donated produce. We pick okay. up from places here in town like Sam's Club, Kroger, all of that, all the way down to farms. Farmers markets yep. will even pick it on the farm if they need us to. Yeah. And then we deliver it same day, typically within hours. We'll deliver it to agencies like Brass, Boys and Girls Club, and the food pantries around town. Yeah, definitely. And I know uh, I, I worked at a retail store before I <laughs> before I started my, my big boy job here. And I know there was a lot of food waste, it seems. And I know it's, it's just kind of continued. How much of that are we seeing nowadays compared to years past? Well, we've been in a relationship with Feeding America Kentucky's Heartland mm -hmm. for about 18 months to pick up those retail stores, and we have topped 140,000 pounds. Wow. We average around 750 pounds each pickup day. Yeah, wow, man, that's that's too much at times, but uh, as it's going towards a great cause, and that leads me to the Glean Fest, as you can see here right behind us. We got a lot of stuff happening this weekend, this being one of the big events. Kind of tell me, what is this event all about? How long it's been going on? Just any information about it? Well, it hasn't even been going on yet, so it's yeah. a brand new all event right. for us Good. here in Bowling Good. Green, yeah, and so what we wanted to do was just celebrate having been here for, th for three years, all the success that mm -hmm. we've had, and really appreciate the community and bring together other agencies that are doing either similar things or things that really complement what we do. And so we just wanted a nice gathering place to have a little fun. There'll be some snacks, some face painting for the kids, and lots of other agencies. Whether you want to learn about them, volunteer, or if you actually need some of their help, they're going to be at this event. Definitely, yeah, it sounds like a fun time for sure. I know um, you say you partnered with uh, Feeding America Kentucky's Heartland a lot, um, and I know food insecurity is a big deal here in the it state. It is. Um, so kind of tell me, uh, how does this organization itself uh, how does that partnership work with Feeding America's Kentucky's Heartland? How does that work with uh, Glean Kentucky? Sure, so uh, Feeding America Kentucky's Heartland can come down and pick up the produce, but because of their distance, being in Elizabethtown and just mm. the process they have to go through, it can take up to a couple of days to actually get it donated. And most of us know that produce, especially produce that's been culled out of a retail store, often doesn't have two or three days before it gets to someone. So we're sort of that, we fill that gap, right? So we come in and we do it within hours each day. Uh, so it just helps to keep it fresher and we're able to be super hands-on with how we deliver. Yeah, and uh, I know you said you were based out of Lexington. So coming here to Bowling Green, I mean, it's a, it's a newer region. Kind of tell me, what has the uh, community reception been like and what's the organization, what are their kind of thoughts on the South Central Kentucky region compared to uh, Northern Kentucky? So it has absolutely exploded, mm -hmm. especially in the last 18 months. The relationship with Feeding America, Kentucky's Heartland made a big difference for us. Yeah. And so that has been wonderful. The reception has been fantastic. Um, um, we have a lot of fun things going on that you'll hear about over the next couple of weeks from Glean Kentucky here in the community. And it's very different from the Lexington area because Lexington was really built on the backs of farms and orchards, whereas for us here in Bowling Green, it was built on the backs of the retail stores. Yeah. So same job, but just very different landscape for what that looks like each day. Yeah, definitely. And for those who are interested in this yes. or who may not know a lot about it, uh, kind of tell us a little bit about uh, just how where they can go to learn more information not only about the organization itself but for the Glean Fest as well. Absolutely. So going to our website is really the best thing. All the information is there. You can even get to our social media from there. Mm -hmm. So Glean, G-L-E-A-N-K-Y dot org. All right. Awesome. Jalen, thank you so much for being here thank on this Thank you very midday. much. Glean Kentucky's Glean Fest taking place this Saturday, October 7th from 3 to 5 p.m. It's taking place at First Christian Church on 1106 State Street right here in Bowling Green. For more information on how to get involved, just do what Jalen said. Visit their website, gleankentucky.org. We'll be right back after the break.